I'm gonna give you three reasons why you should start a business. Three years ago, I started my business. Uh, I was making close to $100,000 in corporate America. My wife was making close to 50,000 and I quit. We quit, we both quit our jobs and we started a business. And a lot of people would say, why the heck would you do that? That's pretty stupid. You had this stability of income. You had a job that gave you a lot of freedom. And I knew these three things, and I knew these three things that I was not gonna get being an employee. And the number one thing is money. There are some jobs that you have as an employee that pay you a lot, I completely agree. But as a business owner, you have not an unlimited ceiling, right? But you theoretically do, but let's just say you have the potential to make way more money as a business owner than as an employee. Out of college, I think my first job, I got paid 55,000 or 50,000 a year. In my business, a couple of months ago, I made that in one month, okay? So I basically said, hey, you know, when I came out of college, I thought 55,000 was a lot of money, and for some people it is, I agree. But my business did that in one month, so, my thinking was wrong. I was trying to maximize my paycheck, going in, asking for a raise, staying late, trying to put good favor in front of the boss, doing all the right things, right? But my, my, my income was never gonna get above a certain point because the boss would just say, hey, um, why the heck am I paying you X, Y, Z when I could find somebody else and pay them half, right? Because that's the way they think. So my income was gonna be fixed and that's the first reason why you should start a business is that your income will be fixed where you're at as an employee. Unless you're in a high profile sales position, I understand it may be very hard for you to recreate that in a business. But yes, you can start a business and make more money. Number two, and this is the most important thing in my opinion about why you should start a business, is the equity. So when you build a business, you're building equity. And what that means is, let's say your business, you build it over a number of years and you get the net income, that's the revenue minus expenses equals net income is $500,000. If you pick the right business, that business can be sold at a multiple of the net income. Usually it's about, you know, depending on your industry, two to four times, right? So let's just say it's two times. So you built that business, you're netting 500,000, you get to sell that business to somebody for a million dollars. And a lot of people are like, oh, nobody's buying businesses. A lot of people are buying businesses. I bought a business a year ago in my industry and it cash flows because a lot of people know that, hey, I can buy a business that's already created, even get a loan on it and cash flow. It's like real estate. So what I'm trying to say is if you get if you have the right business and how do you know which business is the right business well I've been making videos every single day about um, business ideas I do a business idea breakdown and at the end the sixth step the most important step that, that I evaluate businesses is can you sell it can you sell this business down the road what's the multiple that you can sell it and some of these businesses are very easy to start and they have a good multiple. So it's something that you can build if you have time over 10, 15, 20 years and sell it at the end of it. Now let's see if you're an employee. When you're an employee, the you have to put away your own money into a 401k. The boss gives you a little bit. He goes, oh, I'll, I'll throw a little bit in. Let's be honest, it's never more than 3%. If you're lucky, it's 5%. So he gives you a little bit of money and you're setting aside your own money for retirement, and again, you're not making as much because this guy that the scenario I just gave you is netting 500 grand. So I guess he's a Fortune 500 CEO making 500 grand. So uh, he's not, he's a business owner. So the equity side is huge because as a business owner, even if you earn the same amount of money and you set the money aside in a 401k, which as a self-employed 401k, you can actually put more money than if you're an employee, look it up. But that being said, as you're building equity, you're also building a 401k, so you get the exit. You don't get the exit as an employee. You get the exit as a business owner. So equity in a company that you own, right? This is not the stock market. 
the equity in a company that you own and operate will give you the biggest payday when you're ready to exit if you chose the right company and built the company the right way. How do you build a company the right way? You don't run expenses like crazy through it. You have a large net income. And yes, you have to pay more taxes when you have a large net income, but guess what? Your company's profitable. So pay the taxes, have a profitable company. Okay, number three, the most, in, uh, and this is another thing that I, that's really important to me um, that was almost more important than the money was the freedom. As a business owner, you it, somebody said, it's better to be the head of a mouse than a tail of a lion. Because at least if you're the head of the mouse, you can actually choose where you want to go and seek opportunities and you're in control. You're in control when you, ha when, you ha when you own your own business. So the freedom of being able to say, hey, uh, I'm taking Friday off or hey, I'm going to leave at, I'm going to stop my business at 3 p.m. and I'm going to go to my kid's t-ball game and I'm going to ask my freaking boss. Hey, the freedom to say, hey, if I want to go make money, I can go make money. I can go make more money in my business. I don't got to ask for a raise. The freedom to be able to implement your ideas, to not run them past somebody, to see opportunities and take them on fast. I mean, the freedom of being a business owner in my thing is, is the most important thing. I've had people that approach our business and say, hey, I'd like to buy you or like to see what we could do to work together. And I'm like, no, I love doing my own thing. I love having the freedom. I love being able to run my business wherever I want to run it, take vacations when I want a vacation. I think we vacationed six times in the last nine months. We go places, we've gone to Paris, we've gone to California, New York, we go all over the place because I have the freedom to do it. I don't gotta ask anybody. So the freedom is huge. So what you need to do is you, this video is not to um, necessarily discourage you from where you're at. What it is, it's supposed to kick you to say, hey, um, it's never been more important for me to start my own business. It's never been more important for me to start to gain control of my life. So um, start thinking about businesses to start. And quite frankly, if you go to my channel, hit subscribe, and I'm gonna be posting videos every week about businesses that you can start and be successful in. Um, and I give them a score. I mean, there's two or three businesses in there that if I wasn't running my business right now and it wasn't so profitable, I would highly consider starting that business. So check them out. There's opportunity there. And what you gotta do is you gotta decide that, hey, this is for me and I'm gonna do it. So comment below if you have any questions. I'm happy to help and be a resource. Thank you.